Another LSU Ag Center research station is hard at work to help rice farmers. Experts unveiled two new Clearfield varieties as well as a new weapon in the fight against the rice water weevil. That was at the annual Rice Field Day. This week in Louisiana Agriculture's A.J. Sabine has the story from Crowley. It was a moving summer morning at the LSU Ag Center's Rice Research Station as rice growers, marketers, and industry leaders moved through the five stops of this year's field day. Regional director and rice breeder Dr. Steve Linscom introduces Catahoula, a new long grain variety, and CL-151, which is currently being tested as a replacement for prevailing Clearfield varieties. We also have a new long grain variety, Catahoula, being grown as foundation seed for the first time this year. A nice semi-dwarf, long grain, good lodging resistance, good blast resistance. Uh, the CL-151 is hopefully going to be our next uh, better clear field variety, being very widely grown in seed increase fields this year. Very good yield potential and also other good characteristics. This year, for the first time ever, first century rice production practices combined with 21st century technology. Farmers can check out all the action of this year's field day via webcast. We're, we're hoping that, that it's successful. I mean, it's, it's the first time we've tried this video streaming on the World Wide Web, and, 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 and we're, we're hoping it's working, and we're hoping people are looking at it. LSU Ag Center entomologist Dr. Natalie Hummel summarized the results of her trials of Dermacore, a new larvicide that could potentially control the spread of the rice water weevil. Dermacore is a seed treatment. Dr. Hummel says it has tested well, but is still not available for widespread release. And it looked really well on the trials that we looked at. On average across my demonstration fields, and I'm still collecting some of the data and summarizing it, but I saw a six-fold reduction um, anywhere from actually comparable to a control where we had really low pressure with the weevils up to a 12-fold reduction in the numbers of rice water weevil larvae per core sample. For these rice growers, this rice field day means a full plate of information. In Crowley, I'm AJ Sabine for this week in Louisiana agriculture. LSU Ag Center entomologists are on the lookout for the Mexican rice borer. They expect the yield reducing pest to invade the rice fields of Louisiana from neighboring Texas.